Hello friends. So in this video we are going to discuss about another way of classification of signals. Okay. So we will be discussing about even and odd signals. Okay. Even and odd signals. <coughs> okay. So let us uh, draw some signals. Okay. Let us say we have a signal like this. Okay. Let's say it is tau minus tau. This has a certain value. Let us call it A. Similarly, we have another signal Okay, tau minus tau. This is also A. Yeah. So if you see the remember this is the rectangular pulse function, this is the triangular function. Then we have let us say another function or another signal which is let us say like this. Okay, this one. Then we have another signal. The same is for this side, like this. Okay, so if you remember, this is the cosine wave. This one. Okay, so these are the signals. For these signals, if you see the values, the signal values, the value of x t. For both sides, the negative time side and the positive time side, the values are symmetric for the instance of time, for a particular instant of time. Okay, see here, this is A on both sides, okay, from minus tau to tau, it is the same on both sides, the value is constant A. But here also, if let's say here, this let us demarcate 1, 2 and this is tau is equal to 3. Similarly, this is minus 1, minus 2 and this is minus 3. Okay. So, here the values will be symmetric. Here it is 0, here it is 0. Here let us say if it is, let us say, let us pick any value. Okay. Let us say it is 1, let us say like that. Okay, we are just picking a value. Here also it will be 1. Minus 2 here it will be 1. Similarly, here let us say the value is 2. Here at minus 1 also the value, the amplitude value will be 2. Similarly, here let us say it is 3. We are just, I am just saying. So, here the value of the signal in the positive time xt is the same as in the negative time x minus t. Okay, the value, the amplitude value. This is the expression for even signals. It is symmetric about this vertical axis, the y axis or the vertical axis or the amplitude value axis. It is symmetric. See, it is just a mirror image about the vertical axis. Similarly, here also it is the same. Here the value is 0 and likewise it is symmetric at all the points. Here let us say at uh, the value here it is 0. Let us say this is uh, 6, then it is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and 0. So here it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 we have. So here at 6 the value will be 0, 
then at 5 here let's say it is 1 here also it will be 1 here at 4 it will be 2 and minus 4 here it will be 2 this is minus 1 okay this is 1 2 3 4 5 here it is 2 here also it will be 2 and likewise at 1 let's say it is 5 here also the amplitude value will be 5 so it will be symmetric that is x t the value of the amplitude value for the positive time it is the same as that during the negative time similarly it is the same for this cosine signal okay the cosine wave here it is 0 cos 0 it is 1 likewise it is symmetrical as you can see it is just symmetrical exactly symmetrical about this horizontal uh, sorry the vertical amplitude axis or y axis okay so the even signals okay are those which obey this relationship this is for continuous time signals similarly for discrete time sequences it will be symmetric like this okay so let's say we have 0 1 2 here it is minus 1 minus 2 here it is 1 here it will be 1 here it is 2 here it will be 2 here it will let's say it is 3 likewise it will be symmetric about this x and axis similarly another signal if we pick 0 1 2 3 1 2 3 here let's say it is 1 here it is let's say 3 here it is let's say 5 similarly here during the negative axis it will be 1 here it will be 3 here it will be 5 so it will be symmetrical about this x and axis so here the expression will be for discrete time sequence it will be x n is equal to x minus n this is for discrete time signals and another important characteristic of even signal is that they are symmetrical about the y axis or the vertical axis or the amplitude axis <coughs> okay this is another important property of even signals okay so now we'll discuss about odd signals okay we have discussed about even signals now we'll discuss about odd signals so let us draw some signals first okay so uh, okay this is the time x this is x t okay so let us say we have a signal like this then we draw another signal let's just extend it Uh, we have okay this one and uh, here it is this one okay this is zero the origin okay this is another signal then uh, we have
okay a signal like this and uh, let's take the sine wave okay okay this the sine wave so if you uh, notice these signals closely here let's uh, let's say here we uh, make certain points okay here it is 1 let's say here it is 2 and this is 3 here let's say at 3 the value of the signal is minus 3 here at 2 it is let's say minus 2 at 1 it is minus 1 here minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 here at minus 1 the value of the signal is 1 here at minus 2 the value of the signal is 2 at minus 3 the value of the signal is 3 so here if you observe the pattern the value of the signal in the positive side is the negative of the value of the signal for the same respective points in the negative side. The value of the signal, the amplitude values for the positive time side is exactly the negative of the value of the signal at the same time instance in the negative side. So this is the general expression of an odd signal and another thing the odd signals if you see they are symmetrical about the origin okay not about any axis but they are symmetrical about this point of origin zero okay similarly here also here it is constant okay this is a this has a particular value let's call it here if it is a here it will be minus a so here during the positive time side and during the negative side time side it is just a negative and it is constant throughout okay a here it is minus a so same condition is fulfilled here the value the amplitude value of the signal during the positive time side is just the opposite of the value of the signal at the negative time side at the same instant okay so what i'm trying to say here is x1 here which is equal to minus 1 here x minus 1 here is plus 1 which is basically minus of minus 1 or minus of x1 this this is the thing which i am trying to say so this makes this this relationship it makes the odd signals symmetrical about the point of origin so if we place uh, we cannot if we place a mirror just like this okay it will be mirror image of each other about the point of origin similarly here also if you see this is also an odd signal obeying the same relationship okay xt is equal to minus of x minus t in case of even signal it was equal xt is equal to minus uh, equal to x of minus t okay this was not present that minus thing is not present okay simply this x t is equal to x of minus t this is for even signals for odd signals it is this minus of x minus t okay now the sine wave also the sinusoidal signal this is also an example of odd signal okay because it is exactly 
symmetrical about the point of origin. Okay, it is exactly symmetrical. This is an odd signal. So these are the basic things for even and odd signals, the important points that you have to remember. Even signals and odd signals. The even signals, they obey the relationship x t is equal to x minus t. Here it is x t is equal to minus of x minus t. Then they are symmetric about y axis, they are symmetric about origin. Another important thing which I think I missed for discrete time sequences, same thing for odd signals it is like this. Okay, if we have a discrete time sequence, this is this. Here, let us say we have points 1, 2, 3. Here we have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Here, if it is 1, 2, 3, here it will be minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3 like this. Okay. Similarly, one, two, one. Similarly, here it will be minus one, minus two, minus one. So, exactly it will be symmetrical about this point of origin and the expression will be like this. For discrete time sequence, x n is equal to minus of x minus n. Just we replace t with n. This is for discrete time sequences. This is for continuous time. This is for discrete time. Okay. Here if we just add, this is for continuous time. For discrete time it is xn. For even signal x minus n for discrete time, here it is x n is equal to minus of x minus for continuous time for discrete time. Okay. So, this is the basic discussion related to odd signals and even signals. Okay.